Hey guys, Mark Gibbons here for 50 North Yachts aboard the WorldCat brand new 2021 280cc X. Really excited to share this with you today. We're going to talk a little bit about the family friendly features of the boat, really how versatile the boat is, of course the fishing features of the boat. So come on aboard, let's take a look. All right, so here we are at the helm at the center console of the boat. Uh, we ordered this boat really well optioned out, including the optional shadow package, which is basically a black trim package on there. Really looks nice on the boat. Uh, you can also see that the uh, the hard top has a nice surfboard finished edges on it all the way around. Just great fit and finishes all through the boat. Could would take a long time to show you every little thing, but we'll try to rush through it. A couple of things that, uh, that this boat comes with. We've got the joystick. Not only does that help with docking, but it also has autopilot and position fix functionality. Um, of course, we've got our main helm controls here with dual Garmin screens, your stereo system here, all of the abilities to watch your, whether it be fish finding, monitoring systems for the engines, uh, as well as your lights uh, and control everything from the heart of the boat right here. Plenty of storage underneath. Um, there's uh, some access plates up here and of course access to our uh, outriggers down here. Let's check out some of the fishing specific parts of the boat. All right, obviously it's a center console boat for it, so it better fish really well. And where do we start off on the west coast? It's of course with live bait. We've got a great centrally located live bait tank right in the center of the boat, right behind the aft helm position. Uh, and that's 30 gallon tank there. Um, just next to it, we've got a great uh, tackle center, a very usable um, tackle center, tackle storage. And then around to the other side here, we do have the ability to store your knives and a couple of the other things. So they really do make great use of all their space. Uh, after we've got bait, obviously everybody needs lots of poles. Uh, throughout the boat, um, we've got integrated um, uh, rocket launchers or pole holders all throughout the combings. There's 10 of those uh, throughout the boat. Uh, in addition to those 10 uh, around the combings, we have the five rod holders on top of the hard top here. So a total of 15 rod holders um, for the exterior of the boat. One last thing while we're back here in the cockpit, obviously there's a great area for fishing. Uh, if you're out cruising around, you got multiple people, um, it makes it really nice to be able to have a great fold away seat. And then finally, before we move toward the front, uh, we do have two power outlets, one on each side, probably a little bit tough to see there in the video, but we uh, do have two power. So if, uh, if you are in an area that needs uh, downriggers, um, you can plug those into power and that comes standard with the boat. Let's take out the front. All right, so after you catch it, you gotta, gotta have a place to put them. So we've got two very large fist holes uh, with of course overboard uh, discharge drainage, both on the starboard and the twin one on the port. Both of them, which is really cool, have the ability to uh, convert, once you're not using this as a fish box or a cooler, uh, to rod storage. And then going forward, there's holes in there that you can actually store your rods. So really versatile area of the boat. So here we are in the bow of the boat. The West Coast fishing, of course we use the whole boat. What's the center for the console for it? You can't use the whole boat. As you can see, this is a fantastic seating area. area. Uh, families love it, people love it. The question is, can you fish off of it? And of course, everybody fishes a little bit differently, but let me show you a couple of things that they've done here. Um, you have the ability to take off these cushions and on, underneath these cushions is non-skid. So all of these front cushions can come off so that you can stand up and utilize the entire bow for fishing. Uh, additionally, each one of these um, seats underneath has an insulated box, so it's great for uh, you know anything you want to do, whether it's just simple storage or if you want to put some ice in there for drinks or for, for more fish if you're having a great day. So one of the more notable features of the bow of the 280 is the fact that it comes standard with an anchor and an anchor windlass, but you don't see it here. It's actually um, underneath the deck, which makes it really nice, keeps the deck clean. Uh, it also leaves open a lot of extra space for fishing, for other activities. Both of these hatches do have a great amount of storage in it, not only for uh, your, your chain and road, uh, but you can also fit, uh, they're large enough that you can fit your fenders when you're not in use on them as well. All right, so we've gone over the fishing features of the boat. Now let's look at some of the more family-friendly features of the boat. 
clearly the seating area up here is just absolutely incredible. Um, you've got the ability to sit at least six people up here. Not only do you have this whole wraparound seating here, um, just uh, aft of where I'm standing is another seat. Um, we have the ability to put a table uh, forward here in this little slide. It comes out very easily. Um, which is nice. And then again, as I mentioned on the fishing port, all of these are insulated boxes underneath the seating so you can put ice, coolers, do everything you want there. Now let's check out the head. Really important right over here. Very, very conveniently in the uh, center console is a very nice size head. It's fresh water, electric flush with a holding tank in there. All right, here we are back in the cockpit of the boat. A couple of things to point out. We've mentioned it briefly for the fishing. This is a great spot, another plate, another hangout spot. You've got this fold away bench seating here. They've done a lot of really cool things in the way of details. One of the things I want to point out uh, are these uh, fender clips that you simply push the button, they pop out. You secure your fender to this line. When you're ready to dock, all you do is put them back in. They're locked in. When you're ready, when you're pulling away from the dock, you pull them out and put them away in storage. It's a small thing, but it just makes docking, lines, handling, and storage so easy. They've also done a great job to keep cleats away from toe uh, you know, crunching, as it, were, as it were. The cleats are down here, so you've got the hosel there to go through your lines. And then as you look midship and forward, we've got the cleats that pop up. Still very heavy duty cleats, but when you're not in use, they go down, which is great. Less toe kickers looks better, convenient way to utilize the boat, especially when you're docking. All right, and finally, last but certainly not least, never seen a boat come standard with such a usable swim ladder. Not only just for swimming, but we've recently had some people do a lot of scuba diving and they've got their full equipment on. A, a big full-size grown man, my size, can come up with all their scuba gear on these ladders. Not only is it just a ladder, but it actually goes at an angle. So if you can see that it goes here, it makes it really easy to board, reboard the boat after you have been out diving or just swimming with the, with the family and kids. All right, so that's a wrap on the WorldCat 280CCX 2021 with Shadow Package. If you want more information, please give us a call at 84450 North or visit our website at www.50NorthGalaxy.com. See you on the water.